in this episode, Plenty of Barrels, Godlike, Connecting People, Sixth Sense, Parting Gift. Welcome to Thunder Show. Low-ranking triple A's are often very good at defeating low-ranking and usually rather modestly armored tanks. The French P-7T is no exception. Ioan Borzbitsky goes above and beyond, though. His truck is attacked by no less than four enemy tanks. In majority of cases, such an encounter would not end well for such an open vehicle. But luckily, the French engineers have anticipated for such encounters and installed four machine guns on the truck. In the end, all four got what they deserved. As for Ioan Borzbitsky, well, he deserves something else. Enjoy Eagles, mate! Do you remember that particular Chaika that killed jet fighters lately? Looks like that fans of the American aircraft have accepted the challenge presented by their Soviet counterparts and will stop at nothing to beat their rivals. One such pilot is Andrei Ivanov, and he has done it well. He defeated three jets using the good old F-28 Buffalo. First, he opts for some cunning air maneuvers, making two F-100s crash into each other. Soon after, he shoots down an enemy MiG-19 in a head-on attack. What an outstanding result! 5,000 GEs will be sent to the winner soon. Stand by! The hero of the next video has gotten to a bad spot. While chasing an enemy Typhoon, he completely missed the hostile F-3 going after him and realized the danger in full only once he began attacking the ascending Breton in earnest. The speed was not high enough to finish the attack and looks like it is the time to return to the hangar. But the enemy got so carried away attacking, he completely forgot the burning teammate, which in turn lost control of his plane, falling sideways and landed right on top of the American biplane. That's got to be one of the most unusual saves we've ever seen on this show. For which Alex gets the prize eagles. Nice! Browning heavy machine gun is the main anti-aircraft weapon of the US tanks in game. This high-caliber MG is installed on virtually all tanks and self-propelled guns. I bet that most American tank fans have thanked the designers of their machines for adding this legendary weapon to their vehicle. Because this gun can be used reliably against aircraft and even lightly armored ground units. This time, however, the venerable Browning MG has played a nasty trick with its user because it gave away the position of the user upon which it was installed from behind sand dunes. Few shots later made by Renando Hernandez and the unlucky commando was gone. That's a victory right there. Here are 5,000 Golden Eagles for your keen senses. Keep them up. M68-2 is perhaps not the most popular tank of War Thunder, although it doesn't mean it's a bad tank. SZ is about to prove it in action. His starship is set ablaze and is firmly on its way to the hangar without a fire extinguisher to help him. But our hero is not here to give up. With his crew still active and weapon operational, he gets to say the last word. All enemies are hidden behind cover, but that's a small problem since Shalala missiles can curve around obstacles. The very first shot destroys an enemy upriver, the second tackles a sniper all the way up at the enemy spawn. That's what I call going out with a bang. 5,000 Golden Eagles of Freedom are now being sent to the winner. Good job!